So I wanted to make this short video um, really kind of reflecting on the last five months of my journey uh, regarding eating better, getting some exercise, and really trying to lose some weight. Um, it's not easy, requires hard work. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people out there that think that fad diets and weight loss pills and caffeine pills and whatever else on the market is going to be able to make that change for you, um, but that's just not the case. Um, you know, really one of the biggest motivating factors I wanted to thank for my positive journey, you know, starting last November, December, roughly, uh, I can't say exactly when, but, uh, you know, really that comes down to, you know, some of the good advice I've had from, uh, you know, one of my good friends, uh, Vito Scamarcia, he is the owner of Accu Athletics here locally, um, and really gave me some good positive advice and, and motivation and, and tips and tricks, and, and it's working. So, <clears throat> I wanted to share some of that. My kids just can't seem to stay out of these videos, but I guess they will be welcome here. Um, so it really comes down to you know some of the items that you know he was able to share with me and 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 enlighten me with and it, you know really when you take it to heart and get serious about it anything's possible. Uh, so I wanted to share some of the things that have been working for me because uh, I know I have a lot of friends and colleagues and uh, people in general around me that you know say hey I'm you know want to lose weight and. and you know, it's not always clear in terms of, you know, what is going to work or, you know, what's a positive factor for them. So, you know, even though I'm not a scientist, I'm not a health expert, <clears throat> um, no one of that nature, um, really just an average guy, 32 years old, uh, running my own business, running two companies actually, um, you know, busy like all of us. Don't have a lot of time to focus and dedicate on things like this, but you know, small tweaks in your life really can have a big impact. So, you know, wanted to share what some of those are. <clears throat> uh, I touched on this just a few moments ago, but the fad diets do not work. Um, I've dabbled with them in the past. Uh, you know, really, I don't think they have any place for most average people unless you're really determined, unless you really can be motivated and dedicated to sticking to that fad diet. I, I don't think any of those um, will have any lasting impact. Um, I think Vito talked about this in a presentation that he had at our company office um, a couple months back. Um, but uh, again, everything I've done has not involved any kind of fad diet. Um, you know, another big factor for me has been eating food that's minimally processed. Uh, I know the American diet and trust me, I love burgers, I love fries, I love all that kind of stuff. Uh, but those foods, again, have a lot of processing that goes into them. Uh, a lot of things at the grocery store that, you know, most people are, end up purchasing. Frozen foods, things of that nature, uh, have a lot of processing and that's not really the best for us. Uh, a lot of nutrition, a lot of uh, a lot of vitamins, a lot of those critical things that we need on a day-to-day -day basis are lost uh, with those foods. So I've really cut down on eating those kinds of items. Uh, not to say I don't treat myself sometimes, but uh, again, my usual meal, as my cat Freddy jumps over here, uh, you know, really this is my dinner tonight. You know, this salad, olives, mushrooms, beets, uh, baby carrots. I'm not gonna get my cat off screen here um, uh, so this is really you know my dinner and this most nights this is or, or lunches and you know I mix it up sometimes but this is what I'm getting for myself um, again very natural uh, not the cheapest thing on the block uh, I tend to be doing a lot of things from the Mariano's or Jewel uh, salad bar of this nature but you know what I'm not really craving those foods that I used to eat the high fat 
high grease, high uh, calorie kinds of items. Um, you know, this is really satisfying for me. And uh, again, maybe a little bit larger than what most people would need. Would need. Um, but again, about a pound and a half to two pounds of a solid hearty salad like this. And that's plenty for me most days. <clears throat> uh, I'm drinking a lot of soups as well and uh, some days I'm mixing in a little bit of sushi sometimes uh, into that to get some fish. Uh, putting in into my salads as well sometimes some uh, chicken as well, some grilled chicken, barbecue chicken. Jewel usually has that on the salad bar so I mix that in most days. So I'm getting my protein um, with my meals and uh, it's been working really well and again this kind of food once you start getting the hang of it after two three four weeks uh, you do start craving this instead of craving the burgers the fries the shakes the you know everything else that the American diet is used to so uh, from that perspective you know that change in my diet really has been working <clears throat> not to say I don't treat myself with the burgers and go out once in a while and you know on the weekends tend to splurge a little bit uh, you know, for those those foods that uh, you know definitely hit the part of the taste bud that things like this don't. Uh, but again, it's it can be a treat. It can be something that you do on a you know very uh, inconsistent basis. And as long as you're again making a majority of your meals something that is not very processed and and um, frozen and you know where it's losing a lot of its nutrients, um, you can really turn around that. Um, that weight situation for yourself. Uh, another thing that I've really, uh, one of the items I've, I've been able to change is doing a minimal amount of soda. When I do soda, um, not to say I don't have any two liters here at home, which I do, uh, but they are all diet. Um, I know some of you out there are a little suspect of diet and of course all the things that you've heard, but I've had no negative health effects from it, I do a little bit of diet, mix it in maybe every third or fourth meal uh, as, a, as a drink for myself, um, but nothing crazy. Most of the time I'm doing actually natural, non-pasteurized juices. I've been doing a lot with orange juice and grapefruit juice and carrot juice uh, one or two times a week for Mariano's and Jewel, and, and that's been really, really great. And sometimes I get the smaller containers, I can take it to go and drink that throughout the day, and really my necessity to drink stuff like uh, the high fructose corn syrup, sodas, and, and everything else. Um, I, I have no craving for it anymore. And, and really to top that off and extend off that, I really have no craving for energy drinks really, coffee, not to say I don't get them once in a while, just as a matter of uh, taste preference and, and changing it up, but I don't need to start my day. I don't need that to Get my energy levels up. So from that perspective, um, you know that's been another positive effect of starting to make some of these changes in my life. Uh, I mentioned the trans fats, thing from trans fats, the high fructose corn syrup uh, drinks. That's definitely been something I've been on a lookout for. Uh, my snacks in the evening, in terms of what I nibble on when I'm watching YouTube TV or a little bit of Netflix or. Uh, some game streaming on Mixer just before I go to bed. Uh, really what it consists of, usually most of the time, is just frozen mixed berries, uh, either from Walmart or Juul. Uh, you can buy the big containers uh, in the, in the uh, frozen food section for yourself uh, of the frozen mixed berries. And again, high in antioxidants, high in uh, all kinds of different vitamins, uh, naturally sweetened. So again, it tastes you know, pretty good to the palate but again, it's something also that's very healthy for you. So mixed berries, I tend to eat, I don't know, you know what quantity that comes out to, but a couple ounces, a couple of cups, you know, whatever that, uh, that means. But uh, about once a week, I'm getting a bag of that uh, from Jewel or Mariano's. And uh, to me, that satisfies me just before bed, and I don't need to really look towards ice cream, chips, not to say I don't do it once in a while, but again, more often than not, I'm going towards the mixed berries as opposed to the stuff that's not good for you. You shouldn't be eating that late at night. Uh, I'm doing a, a lot more tea. I'm doing natural tea, pomegranate tea, other kinds of different teas, uh, one to two times a day. I usually do one in the morning, do one just before I go to bed. Um, and that's been you know very helpful for me. So whatever other health effects come from that, 
Um, that's been a part of my diet. I've been increasing my, my tea consumption uh, recently. Uh, when it comes down to my activity and what I've been doing, um, again, my life's been pretty stressful the last few years after my dad passed away. Uh, lots been on my plate. So I wasn't able to be as active, but it really turned the course and really decided to get serious about it after having some discussions with Vito from Athletics and, and really about how to, you know, in addition to diet, you know, take that to the next level and what does that activity look like? I've played hockey all my life and, you know, it's been a shame that I haven't been able to be involved with that as much as I want to uh, the last few years. Um, but it is what it is and I've really been able to supplement that by going uh, to the gym I try to make it about three days a week. I do a little over an hour on the treadmill. Every single time I'm there, burn about 700 to 900 calories for that hour. So some decent intensity uh, workout. And it's been working. Um, not only that, I've been doing about 10,000 steps per day. Usually, some days I'm getting about 15 to 20K, depending on what I'm doing, or if I gotta go downtown and you know, to take the train, things like that for work. Uh, but uh, making sure that I'm watching my activity meter on my Fitbit. I, I'll do uh, carry a charge two on my wrist every single day. So I wear that uh, to watch my step count. Um, but the weight loss has been working. Um, and even, you know, I check my Fitbit here and see what I went in, weighed in at. And my last weigh-in, or just a couple of days ago when I was working out, um, on my last weigh-in, uh, what it come out to? 199. 0.4 pounds. I was almost 220 just last summer. So uh, in about less than a year time time frame, uh, you know, really since I've gotten serious about it, I would say probably about the last five months or so, um, I've dropped just about, you know, roughly 20 pounds and I've been keeping it off. Um, if you want to see that chart, hopefully it shows up on the video here, but it's been a consistent downward trend in terms of uh, you know, weight loss. So, uh, it's not a fad in any way. Um, it's not, you know, something where, you know, it's been working for a couple of weeks or a couple of days and then it goes back to, you know, where it was before. It's been a consistent downward trend, um, where, you know, now I'm weighing in consistently for the last few times under 200 pounds. So, um, it's been working. Not to say this is for everyone, not to say that this is the magic formula, not to say that I'm some kind of expert on this. I would probably refer you to Vito from Accu Athletics. Uh, you know, he is the better one to be able to say, uh, you know, what that would take for, for you to make a change in your life. Um, but for me, you know, these are the various factors that have been working that I've been using to cut that weight down, feel better have a lot of energy, not having to rely on the coffee and the energy drinks every single day. I have energy from the time I wake up until, you know, late at night. Um, and it's been a functional mixture that, as I said, it's just, it's, it's, it's been working. It's been functional for me. It's a routine that I'm now used to. And again, I'm, I'm, in taking less sodium and taking less of the, the American diet, the burgers, the fries, the things of that nature. Uh, not to say I don't like doing those things, but again, doing them in, in, a, in a scarcity, in a way that uh, I'm able to get back down to a normal, healthy weight. Um, you know, perhaps I wish I could, you know, be a little more active, get back into my hockey routine, but um, until a few things in my work life get settled down, um, that's not going to be a reality. But I'm doing what I can. And again, using those tips and, and tricks that uh, Vito from AccuAthletics was able to tell me about and, and really guide me on and, and, and show me that that is the path of, of success and, and that is you know, where I need to be heading. There's a lot of value to that. So uh, I'm hoping that you know, some of these items were able to shed some light on maybe some adjustments that you can make in your life to start losing some weight is, you know, everyone has a lot of, you know, a few pounds they want to take down and, you know, there's a lot of fringe benefits to dropping that weight, to lowering the blood pressure, to <clears throat> feeling better about yourself, to the self-esteem, to uh, lowering your risk of diabetes, lowering your risk of, of heart disease and heart issues. 
you know, all those factors are something that's always in the back of my mind at least. And, uh, you know, want to make sure I didn't unravel and start going down a path of no return and gaining weight. Um, and really, you know, this regimen I talked about for the last, you know, four to five minutes or so was really something that turned that tide for me. And I don't really see myself going back. So I really want to thank Vito uh, from Acu Athletics and, and, and the help that he provided me, the tips and tricks he gave me, that guidance that he was able to show me. Um, and I'm hoping that showing that progress of what I've been able, what I've been able to do is something that you can translate into a few things to help make your life better and give it a try. Hopefully lose some weight. Not to say everything is something that you'll be able to use, but a few of these items hopefully you'll be able to incorporate and turn your life around if you're having weight issues and uh, issues with energy levels and eating too much of all the bad stuff that we're all accustomed to. So hopefully this was able to help you out.